It's wonderful to see uh, school children above watching this debate. You've just heard from the member for Holt, and can I say something nice about the member? Uh, the member migrated to Australia when she was 11, and she got a job at Woolworths and worked there for 15 years. And I think that sense of perspective that she brings to a debate like this is one that means a contribution uh, comes from a well-meaning place, even if I don't agree with everything that she says. I too arrived in Australia when I was 10, and I'm grateful for my work experience at McDonald's. Um, so I want to say something, Deputy Speaker, about aspiration. And we have heard a lot through this week and in this debate about quotes from pop stars, and Taylor Swift is number one, and the outgoing member for Cook did a very good job of quoting Taylor Swift. But I want to say something about another, another pop star, another one. A country music star. <laughs> a country music star. His name, his name is Jason DeFord, also known as Jelly Roll. And Jelly Roll, in November last year at Nashville, won the New Artist of the Year at 39 years of age. And he gave a great speech, and he said there was something poetic about him winning New Artist of the Year at that age. And he said he wanted to tell people who are struggling. He said, I don't know where you're at in life or what you're going through, but I want to tell you to keep going. He said, I want to tell you success is on the other side of it. I want to tell you it's going to be okay. I want to tell you that the windshield is bigger than the rear view mirror for a reason. And he said, because what's in front of you is so much more important than what's behind you. In debates like this, we hear again and again the Labor members stand up and go straight to the rearview mirror, straight to the rearview mirror, and not look through the windshield, the windshield that Australians are looking through right now. So what's through that windshield? This is what they see. Food is up 9 per cent. Housing is up 12 per cent. Electricity, 20 per cent. Insurance, 22 per cent. Gas is up 27 per cent. In my home city of Melbourne, many young families are giving up on the aspiration of home ownership. If you take the median household income, the median household income, when you look at the median house, that family can afford none of the 354 houses available in suburbs of Melbourne. None. And if you lower their expectations to what can a median earning household afford for units, it's 15 out of 354 suburbs. So if we take the windscreen metaphor, Australians are looking through a cracked windshield. The wipers aren't working and it's raining. So while the Labor Party focuses on this side, on the previous government, the Labor Party needs to turn its mind to the fact that it is now in government and it can do something, do something about what Australians are seeing in front of them right now. 